Hello, I need to make some brackets to hold a dust cover on a turntable I'm currently restoring. So I thought I'd make a quick little video about it. So the plan is to make these brackets out of a piece of aluminium. So I made a small sketch here. Uh, it's just a rough sketch with all my measurements on it. So the plan is to transfer that to CAMBAM and then we'll take it from there and generate G-code and CNC it out of a small piece of aluminium. So I'll start by creating the basic shapes in Kanban. Kanban is very simple, uh, very basic, but it's really hard to beat when you just need to do some quick 2.5D CNC work. I use it quite often for projects in wood, acrylic and aluminium as well. So it's worth to note that Kanban is not free, but it is quite affordable and they do have a generous evaluation period. Uh, you get full functionality with something like you can open the program 40 times before you need to buy a license. So if you're interested, uh, you can just try it out. You can download it on their web page. So I create the outline. Just need to create a couple of holes and a couple of pockets. And then we can start defining the milling operation. When I make drawings in Kanban, I like to use guidelines, so usually I'll draw a lot of extra shapes, lines and circles, etc. I just temporarily, so I'll just use them so I can guide what I'm trying to draw. I usually make things a lot easier. Then I'll just delete them later once I'm done with them. So I'm making two pockets here. And once I'm done with the basic shapes, I'd usually just take, select all of them, then join them together into a single shape. And that makes it easier for machining later. And once I have all my basic shape, I like to order them so they're going to be in the same order as I'm going to machine them. That just makes it a little bit easier. And now I'll go through and define the milling operation for each of the shapes. So the most common two operations are either a pocket or an outline. I'm going quite slowly and not very deep uh, because it is aluminium and my CNC is not that sturdy. And since I'm using an end mill, I'm going to set very slow plunge rate. And for pockets, I always use level first. I'm not going depth first, so just do the level in each layer first. This could probably be done easier uh, by creating some defaults and setting up a tool table, uh, but this is straightforward, uh, just doing all the settings manually. That's uh, usually how I do it. And finally, I want to cut the outline, and of course, I want to cut on the outside same speed and plunge rate as with the pockets uh, but i do want to add some tabs here so this is quite a neat feature so you can use the automatic tab just define how many tabs you want how big you want them and then just click automatic and then if you generate the toolpath it will show the tabs and then you can just click on them and drag them to where you actually want your tabs so that's quite nice. And CAMBAM does have 3D rotation, so if you want to check your toolpath, it's a good way to do it. It's a little bit fiddly, but uh, it's okay for checking. And then finally, just generate the G-code, and we're done in CAMBAM. Okay, I got the G-code loaded up in Candle, and I got a small sheet of aluminium mounted in the CNC and I already sealed out the position so it knows where to start and I got my safety glasses ready uh, I always recommend just wear some safety glasses you don't want to lose an eyeball and I got some alcohol in a syringe for lubrication so it's just normal rubbing alcohol because aluminium got a tendency to stick to the end mills so a little bit of alcohol will prevent that so we're ready to go
And here we have the result. So I think it came out quite nice. Total machining time was about 10 minutes, so not too bad. Uh, definitely quicker than making it by hand. And the great thing about the CNC is that it always comes out very, very accurate. And if you need to make changes, small changes, well, it's easy. Just make some changes to your CAD files and just make a new one. And we can see the small tabs here, they held very well, they held it in place. Uh, I always use tabs in aluminium, especially aluminium, because otherwise you risk it's going to go flying at some point, and it could damage your end mill as well. So a few taps is much better. And they're quite easy to get rid of. And here's the second one. So let's try them on the turntable and see how it works. And of course the whole idea is that the slot I milled in here is going to fit down here. That looks good. And then I just need to screw them onto the acrylic cover and we can give it a go. See how well it works. I got both brackets and hinges screwed in place. So it works really well. No problem. So that's it for this little video, but I'll be back soon in the next video. So I'll see you next time. Bye bye.